Ascension symptoms are ongoing. It seems like they never stop, but you're probably noticing that they're shifting and manifesting in different ways. I know for years, I had a lot of heaviness in the lower chakras in my lower body. I had a lot of stuck energy there in the root, the sacral and solar plexus. Now I've been working through that and you likely as well have been working through that, especially if you've been subscribed and following me for a long time and watching my videos, you've done breath work, you've been grounding, you've been meditating, and that energy has really started moving its release that allows your vibration to rise, frequency to rise. So you're having access to higher states of being, higher states of consciousness. Now, the energy that's coming in through our central sun, through our sun into our reality is really, really powerful and it is amping up. Now, what happens? We've done a lot of clearing in the body. The body's risen in frequency, but the light seems to be turned up so that it's even more intense. But you're going to experience the symptoms in a little bit of a different way. Whereas we used to have like big waves of energy come in and kind of knock us off pace, which could feel like days or weeks or even months where we just felt really down low vibe as our body was calling us back in, you're probably experiencing shorter periods of that darkness now. And really, it's more like little speed bumps along your path. You're going to be knocked out of alignment for a little bit, maybe a few hours, maybe a day, and you're going to shift back in seemingly without really doing anything consciously to do that. That is just uh, an effect of your body and your nervous system and your subconscious starting to come into alignment and releasing a lot of that old programming. So now, because you've done the breath work, because you've done the healing work and the shadow work, your body knows how to self-regulate and move you back into alignment. Maybe it takes a few breaths to let some of that density through as it starts to you know, trigger you, but then you easily or more naturally settle back in, get back into your body, start to shift a little bit, and start to feel a little bit more aligned. So these symptoms are definitely changing how they manifest. Now you still may have physical symptoms because you're a lot more in tune with your body and there's still a lot of density stuck within your, within your tissue, but you're gonna be more in tune with where that energy is stuck. So you may have some fleeting pains come up here and there, maybe some joint pains and things like that, especially down in the solar plexus area. Maybe you're feeling some tightness in the diaphragm, maybe some gastro issues there because all that energy that was stuck down in the root and the sacral is moving up. Now, when we get into the solar plexus, we talk about um, just you know feeling confident and worthy in those types of emotional things. So those may be coming up now for you to shift out of or to become aware of. So when you're triggered, when these emotions start to come up, that is your higher self guiding you back into your solar plexus. So, so important to be able to continue focusing your attention into the solar plexus area, doing some solar plexus breathing and really expanding that space to help all that energy, energy that is trying to move up from your lower chakras into your heart space. And that's going to start to happen. Now, as that happens, you're going to start to experience this loving, blissful state and that loving, blissful state is a singularity. It's your heart space portal, and that is pulling you back in here. And the energy that's getting up there is what's creating the ability for you to really self-regulate when you start to get triggered. Not like years past when it used to knock you out of alignment for a long, long time. Now maybe you're going to feel that wobble again, that little speed bump, but you're going to be able to breathe it right back in and recenter quickly because your divine love, your unconditional love is more present and flowing through your heart space. So the more you focus into this area, the more you're going to be able to allow that stuck energy, what's still stuck in the solar plexus to move up into your heart space. And once it comes up here, that's a game changer. It moves up through your higher chakras and it comes out into your field and your reality starts to shift into one that is in alignment with new earth, one that is a higher frequency. Your third eye comes online, right? Your pineal gland starts really getting active. I just created 
an amazing open your third eye guided meditation. And I'm going to put the link right here for that. And it'll be in the description of this video. So check that out. Um, once the energy gets up into the heart, like I said, it just goes everywhere. All of the cells of your body light lights up. So as you experience these longer dark periods, they're now getting shorter. Know that that energy is moving. The work you've been doing, even though you may not feel it or be aware of it, the work that you've been doing, the shadow work, the breathing, the healing is paying dividends. It is moving. That energy is moving up. And as it gets into your heart space, again, you're going to know this. You're going to start to experience more love. You're going to feel more at peace. You're going to feel more joy. You're going to just feel abundant and grateful for just being alive and being here. And you're going to start to experience that in others when you're going out about your day. Okay, so these symptoms are shifting, but they are signs that all that work you've been doing is paying off. So I want you to become aware of how much you've grown, how well you're doing, how amazing you are. And as that energy continues to move up and your throat chakra starts to open, your third eye starts to open, you start to experience amazing new realities. Your crown starts to open and you start to reconnect with your divine self, with your higher self, that's a game changer. And we are heading towards that collectively. So it's up to you to keep doing that work, to keep that energy flowing, to keep that energy moving through you. When you feel like you're stuck, when you feel like you're wobbling, bring it back into the body, bring it into the solar plexus, breathe into the solar plexus, breathe into the heart space to open up that central channel, keep that energy flowing. Please like and subscribe to my channel and watch this video next. Thank you so much.